I'm going to talk about this topic as uh, part of my research, but also part of my inspiration when I work. Um, so let's go. Because of time, uh, we cannot go so deep and further in all the debates and details that I would like to press, present today. And I will handle this theme only with working concepts to show a very general overview about the practice of a spiritual in contemporary art. As you see, uh, Friedrich uh, Schoen, part of the traditionali traditionalist school of thinking and art. And why I choose them is because this school uh, today helps me to create a contrast between the past thinking about the, the sacred art and the contemporary practices. So who were them? Who were, who were the, these thinkers? They were a group of thinkers from different parts of the world, especially European countries who holds a bit the belief in one and a primordial truth shared by all the major religions in tension with the objective and values of the modernity. Progress, science, equality, freedom, subjectivity. And they are important today because they contribute with a point of view from inside. All of them were initiated in their religions and they wrote about the role of sacred art in major traditions. Their perspective is not like a historian of religions will do, a secular per perspective, but a believer one. So, also to think in, in this, uh, I take the, the second concept that is important today as spirituality. Why? Because for the sociologist of religion, especially. Spirituality corresponds initially to a, a counter-cultural phenomenon and movement originated in North America after the 60s, sometimes called New Age. But it exists still today, the debate on if it has more ancient roots of if it is just a new shape of the religious behavior. Now with the closure of the new spiritualities, we have a wide spectrum about the subject with the participation of new variables, the colonization, gender studies, etc., etc., etc. But for today, at least, we can just uh, see these two concepts from the Linda Goodhead uh, sociology of religions. She says that religion usually refers to outward and external dimensions, including buildings, institutions, religious professionals, sacred symbols and rituals, or in simple words, a God out, outside us. But by the contrary, spirituality is the inner subjective and experiential and emotional dimension or a God within us. It doesn't mean that they are uh, contradictory concepts because one can be a religious and also a spiritual person, or just a spiritual but not a religious person. So, uh, I propose now same points of contact between these two radical conceptions in order to explore easily with a high contrasted vision the possibilities in methodologies in contemporary art. As a model of approximation, I am conscious that this model doesn't represent the, at 100% the, the artist that I am sitting here, but because there are infinite gray tones between them. But I assume the risk. So I propose the first one is the function. What is the function, the telos of the uh, sacred art for the traditionalism, it has a metaphysical function because they try, the art try to transmit. The tradition is a transmission, is the meaning of this word, transmission of this transcendental 
knowledge uh, and truth. Also because the art is the, 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 the gate between the material and non-material reality. But by the contrary, for the spiritual artist, we find a, a strong agency. It means that they, they, they believe in the individual capacity to define the terms, goals, and objective of art, even the, art, the spiritual art. So there is no other functionality that, than established by the artist and the medium. In this case, Antony Gormley uh, puts uh, his own spiritual questions, the meaning of the life. Yeah? Using this uh, romantic background from the Friedrich, another artist. The second point is the naturalism. Why? Because for the traditionalist, uh, the world is an illusion. So make a, a, a copy or simulation of the world that is an illusion is like a lie. Because the, the only truth is transcendental. But for the spiritual contemporary artists like Maimon Agresi and Roberto Ferri, uh, there is no problem with that. Why? Because uh, they find that the body uh, also has uh, something to say about our spirituality. It's important, for example, with Maimon Agresi, because she is a Sufi and she belongs to uh, an uh, uh, Islamic tradition. So it has more sense now, the, the, this contrast. Also, here is my work uh, that I use some references from the natural world to say something that is not uh, from here. So, okay. The third point is the, our analysis about the techniques. Why? Because traditionalist says that the techniques are not uh, something that you can just throw away because the, the techniques are rituals and the rituals are the ways to, to put inside the, the materials, the energy, the sacred energy from, the, from the, uh, this uh, transcendental truth. But by contrary, the contemporary artist, as Bill Viola, use the innovation as a way to speak or the way to tell in nowadays what is spiritual. But if we see in this uh, video performance that now is in, the, in Brussels, uh, he's working with other rituals, I mean with uh, new materials, new media, but he's also talking about the rituals. So this is a new label of, of talking about the, the, the rituals in, in the spiritual art. This case is the purification of the human uh, in, in the video performance. The actors take away her, their clothes and they enter in a, in a kind of experience of the divinity. The fourth point is the materials. For the traditionalists, the materials are, are not something random, but be, because the, each material have a, a, a characteristic symbolic, each one. So you cannot ch change these rules because if you change that, it's like broke a chain from the heaven to earth or from wherever you think that the, the, the energy comes. But for the contemporary artist, uh, this is not a, a boundary because we find like in Anish Kapoor uh, installations, the use of smoke to represent the spirit or the water to represent the, these movements, internal movements of the descension to, to three points because the, 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 the place is not here. We, we, can to, uh, we, we need to, to think about that. And this is part of the installation, no? But also the, the contemporary spiritual artists use materials that maybe were, were not allowed before as poison, corporal fluids, and plants. So something that we, we think about that and uh, in the past were in, uh, impure materials. Or in the case of James Turrell, he uses the light 
to represent or to explore the experience of something that is beyond the subject object experience that is something that we can find in the in the in the Zen tradition the Zen methods of meditation about the sources the five point um, the traditionalist says that the only valid way the only valid source is the tradition the dogma the text the oral traditions but for the spiritual contemporary artist as Wache, the it, it also exists the personal experiences with drugs with plants with other substances but also there is uh, inspiration in the objects and secular symbols so this diversification of the new spiritualities, spiritualities is also a response to the dominant tradition. In this case, is the use of the sacred plant for the indigenous of the ayahuasca to, uh, as an inspiration to create the, this imaginary with also an influence from the cultural, uh, popular culture. And in his words, this is a work of, uh, in his words, this is a, a, a uh, effort to decolonize the symbols in the public space using, of course, the sacred imagine, uh, image from the uh, indigenous people. Also, Mil Milagro Secada, uh, she did this uh, portadas al sol, like doors to, this, to the sun, uh, in a mountain in Spain using this reference from the Peruvian pre-Columbian cultures. So this is a way to contrast also the dominant uh, traditions, the major traditions, with this uh, eclosion of new spiritualities, or not new, but new in the sense of that now they are taking a space in the world. So the sixth, the sixth point is authority and validation for the traditionalist. Uh, the traditional is the only that holds the power to de decide who is valid, who and what is valid or not. Mm. And, the tra and the tradition means the people who, who holds the power. But for the spiritual artist, we find here a uh, very important philosophical question, and is the displacement from the religion or from the institutions to the individual in two, uh, two principal or main points. The first one is the, the, uh, the place of the authority. Who decides now what is spiritual or not? In this case, some artists and some authors, scholars say that it's the artist and his community, and, but also his community of believers. But the artist is not alone in this, in this environment. In this case, also we see uh, um, an exception to this rule because the, the artist Ernesto Neto, with this installation in the Pavilion of Shamans in Venezia, he asked the permission from the uh, communities in the from the rainforest in Brazil to to create this uh, installation and performance because some of the uh, members of of this community went to to the exhibition. The seventh one, the experience. This is the second point of turn uh, from one paradigm to another one is because the artist becomes the center of the experience of the transcendental uh, emotions, ambitions, and everything. So it's not the priest or the institution who uh, mediates between the people and the experience. No, now is the artist. And in this video performance, Kim Suja, she stands in, in, in the middle of a crowd of people crossing her and she rests like in, in a meditation. But we as public just, we watch the videos of her, of her doing this. So she's who exper experienced the divinity. 
In this case, this video installation from Jeremy Shaw, he records people under uh, very deep states of uh, transcendentality or the, uh, with the use of DMT, the, which is, is a substance that alterates the, the, the conscious. So we see the people in these states. And this is a new use of this. Probably if we think in the Bernini's sculptures of, um, of these saints having uh, these deep experiences, probably, but for now, we can come through. But not all are differences. For some criticals uh, and, and academics, uh, there are still three points of high encounter between the spirituality, the spirituality and the religious model of the sacred art. One of these is the object. Why? Because for the traditionalists, the artist creates objects of worship in the temples um, because they are the, 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 as I said, the bridge between this invisible reality and something that, that we can see and touch. But for the spiritual contemporary artist, <laughs> we see that today the, the importance of the object is manifest. We, we go to, the, to, to these museums like a pilgrimage to see certain kind of objects, but in another sense, it's a secular worship. We pay to, to see them. Or in this case, I, as a sculptor, I, I brought this sculpture that is an installation also, but we cannot uh, activate it because it works with smoke, but here is impossible. Uh, but I hope one day you, you will see it in all its power. Because the night point uh, is this, is this one. The, the boundary between the sacred space and the secular space, the temple and are outside the temple. For the spirit traditional is the, the, the sacred space is the only place where we can worship God. But now for the contemporary artist, this boundary disappears and there is no difference between the sacred and the secular. So in this uh, quote from the, the um, exhibition, Bless Be My Mysticism and Spirituality, uh, the, the curator has the intention to create inside the museum a sacred spirit, uh, uh, sacred space in order to create an, a spiritual experience for the public. And we are talking about a museum, but it's not the only place. I, I wanted with holding uh, with my piece here today, like trying to, to break these rules in academy and the sacred spaces and so on, but it will be another occasion. But this is not the only example. So many artists have created their own temples but they are not uh, created to the worship of one or other one deity, but with a very um, multi-religious uh, intentions that we, that we cannot set in just one tradition. The last one is the position of the artist in this model. Why? Because for the traditionalist, the artist normally is something, is someone anonymous, or when is not anonymous, and should he, he should be a genius because he or she can, with all the, uh, his skills, translate all this energy from the no, from this uh, beyond to to the to our world. But in the contemporary artist practices, we see that the artist is sometimes uh, like a saint, saint because the people in this case uh, went to see her, to see her uh, to her eyes, to, in order to try to take an experience from she. 
who? Marina Abramovich. And the name of this uh, presentation was the artist is present. So it's the presence uh, what is important here. See the artist, experience the artist. Or uh, in one of uh, her last words, the space in between, Marina Abramovich, after experiencing, uh, after, after experience the rituals of purification in the Amazonian rainforest, she says that she wants to heal the people so the artist holds a central position in the spiritual practices. So after see this, uh, oh, okay, because mm, I am out of time, but after see these uh, 10 points of context, uh, the question about authenticity comes again. And if before the authenticity uh, is something about the ritual, the uniqueness of the piece and his pow its power to connect us with the transcendental source. Now, with, when we see the list of the 10 points and the position of the individual in this uh, uh, right uh, column, we see now that the authenticity only depends on the artist, or is the artist the central presence and the authority of the new contemporary practices? So, uh, I want to finally uh, to end this presentation, putting these questions also. Uh, the first one is, if the author, the artist, is the central figure, how to avoid the cultural appropriation when there is no limitation to use the sources, especially when we talk about the several kind of domination uh, in the societies and we, we see this, this transformation especially in the modern society, the Western society. Also, if the spiritual art declares its freedom from the religious authorities, we see the, this, the, the origin of this movement was the countercultural uh, in the 60s. What about the autonomy of spiritual art from the capitalism or other dominant aspects in the culture of the, of the feminist movement declares? So if there is no a special difference between uh, any object that the artists create. We are facing a new stage of the consumerism in the spiritual art. The, the, I mean, if I put the label, this is a spiritual piece. Uh, it's just for the new consumers of art. Okay. Um, of course, there are a lot of questions, but uh, now I, I am yours. Thank you so much for your attention. <laughs>